Hey guys, today I have my next gemstone look, which is for July's birthstone. I did go ahead and skip June. I'll come back to it after this month, I think, because I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for that. So, this is July's birthstone, Ruby. Um, it's hard to get a red eye that's flattering, but I tried to kind of add some pinker tones in to just kind of make the eyes pop nicely and then use some black liner. So that's that, and then the lips, I just had to use this color because it's called Ruby something. So, um, if you want to see how to do this, please stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I did was apply my base. This was a limited edition Maybelline color tattoo in Fuchsia Fever. It's just a bright pink. If you have any other base like that, you can use it, or you could just go ahead and go for the eyeshadows, or a white base would also make these eyeshadows pop nicely. I just opted for a pinkish color because I wanted it to be kind of a pinker red versus my Garnet, which was a warmer red. So then I went ahead and took a very similar color, which is a NYX eyeshadow in Luxor, and blended that through my crease just to kind of blend out that color and it would create a gradient to the skin from the bright red that I'd be applying. And then my bright red was also a NYX color called Cherry, and I just packed that all over my lid. And then because this look was a little too bright, I wanted a little deeper because rubies are not quite this bright. So I took Smoldering Plum by L'Oreal, it's one of their infallibles, and I just patted that using my finger on the outer bit of the eye just to deepen it ever so slightly. And then um, blended that out nicely because we hadn't really done a lot of blending yet at that stage. And then I wanted to deepen it and add a little bit more red, so I took an Ulta color in Shianthi, it's a gorgeous dark red, pop it in the outer corner as well as over my fuchsia fever on the bottom. And then the last thing, that was really the last thing for eyeshadow, and then you want to take your eyeliner. For today's eyeliner, I opted just for a black pencil, no liquid or anything. This is the CoverGirl Liquid Lime Blast in Black Fire, and I put that on the waterline tight line as well as I pulled it out. And how I do this is I just go straight from that corner and pull it out just a little to create a bit of a wing um, to your eyeliner, kind of give it a certain look to it that I didn't think it had yet, and I liked it. And then I just took my mascara, just using Lash Blast Fusion today to create some nice bold lashes. And that is all for eyes. Now for cheeks, I decided I kind of like the look of red everywhere when I'm using red. I don't know if that's something anyone ever will be into, but I kind of like to use red eyes, cheeks, lips when I want to do that. So I did Berry Mary, which is a toned down red by e.l.f. Pop that on my cheeks. And then the lip color, I already was wearing it, but I just real quick touched it up. And this, I really am using it for the name, not the color as much. But it looks pretty. It's the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm in Ruby Twist. I was already wearing it. Um, and I thought, it's called Ruby. Let's use it, even though it's really not a ruby color. So, whatever. And that is all. Alright, so that is the finished Ruby Inspire tutorial. Um, I used all drugstore products, and I hope you guys liked it. Um, I know it's not quite like something you'd probably wear every day, but there's definitely people out there who I think could really rock this who should, and it's fun, and I like it. So, um, yeah. Not for the faint of heart, but I hope you guys did enjoy this. Be sure to like it if you did, and subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you very soon, tomorrow, and have a great day. Bye-bye.